Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and another review. I just got back from seeing Sundown at the theater, so let's talk about it. Uh, basically, I'm going to, for this review, go into spoilers just because I feel like the story kind of demands it. Uh, most of what I liked about this movie involves the story. So, well, this will be a spoiler review, but uh, if you're interested and just want my quick opinion, I'll give that right now up front. So basically, my quick review for this movie is that it's a good movie and I'd recommend it. It's not necessarily one that you need to see in theaters on the big screen, but I would definitely recommend it either, I mean, yeah, you can certainly enjoy it in theaters, but catch it for sure when it hits streaming or video on demand. I did enjoy this movie and um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed especially the story. So with that, we'll kind of go into... The, uh, from here on out, expect spoilers, so uh, stick around if you don't care about that or if you've already seen the movie and want to hear my, my thoughts in depth. So this movie uh, got a limited release, I believe, last week in the U.S. It hit some film festivals last year, so I technically have it as a, or it's listed as a 2021 film, but it didn't hit my theater until I think this week, even though it got a limited release last weekend. So... I had no idea what this movie was about. I just saw that it was playing. Uh, as as I normally do, I'll see what's new in my theater each week and go to see whatever looks interesting. So this got, I think, pretty good reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what it was exactly, but it didn't look like it bombed, so I figured I'd check it out. Uh, but yeah, with that, the I could give a synopsis up front, but the yeah, we'll, we'll kind of cover the plot as we go through. So... Um, yeah, with that, we'll just kind of dive in. And so the movie starts off, and it's following a, two adults and two um, young adults on vacation. And at least, well, at least I assumed that it was a married couple and their son and daughter. Uh, what I found, like, if you've seen the film, you know that they don't explicitly tell you that. And it's about, you know, three-fourths of the way through the film, or maybe halfway through, that you find out that... Uh, you know, they, it's actually a brother and a sister, so it's, uh, they, they kind of gave off an old married couple vibe, but that also kind of falls in the category of siblings, so that was interesting to kind of experience. It definitely reminded me a lot of the White Lotus show on HBO Max, uh, which I watched a few months ago, not necessarily plot-wise, but just following a small family at a really nice resort. It, uh, it gave off those vibes, or at least called back to that a little bit uh, from, you know, what I could reference. But otherwise, the film kicks off, and very early on, the the uh, woman adult, I forget her name, uh, she gets a call and then is clearly upset. You understand that her mother is, uh, like, has been taken to the hospital, and uh, so she, they're starting to pack up, and then as they're on their way to the airport, she gets a call, and... Uh, we learn that her mom has passed away. So at that point, it's it's still really interesting because the the main character he like when I, I initially started the film, presuming he was a husband or possibly an ex who for some reason was just coming on vacation with them, and he doesn't seem all that torn up about it. He seems like kind of there as a support supporting role, but not emotionally uh, distraught by this news. And so that's, it's like little things like that that make it a lot more interesting than when you realize, well, he, he's actually the brother of this woman and that would make him the son of the mom. And you're like, well, why isn't he more upset? And they never really get into that in the movie. I think you're just left to assume that for whatever reason, their relationship wasn't that good. Uh, but then also, we'll get into it later, that you just learn more about him and, you know, what he's experiencing. So... That part of the film, though, just, like, basically learning overnight that her mom had passed away, uh, or just, like, then and there with basically no warning, that that kind of hit home for me personally. Uh, just a couple months ago, actually, my grandfather passed away, and that was, that was out of the blue as well. Um, I remember getting a call from my sister-in-law, basically, as, well, I got a call while I was in the middle of seeing a movie, so I had my phone on silence and didn't even hear, and then by the time I got out of the movie, saw that my sister-in-law had called, called her back, and found out that my grandpa had passed away, and it was, it was a sudden heart attack, so that aspect of the film, um, that kind of hit home, I could, I could really resonate with, you know, I mean, for me, it wasn't a direct parent, but 
it's he's yeah it's uh just knowing what that process was like for myself and then for my mom and uh the rest of the family it that one hit close to home and yeah it's uh i thought it was i thought it was appropriately done in the movie and i thought they captured that like what the suddenness of that would be like uh so the uh so they're heading back to the airport and when they get there then the guy the main character he says he forgot his passport and immediately i i had my suspicions that he hadn't actually forgotten it i was like for some reason he just doesn't want to deal with all this and he's saying that and we learned that he like yeah he lied about it uh because he doesn't want to go back so uh there again that kind of that behavior led me to believe that he was just the ex that for some reason was just like on vacation there with them for the kids um whom we learn later are his niece and nephew but yeah so that's uh it was an interesting start of the film and then it just kind of follows him around while he stays on vacation and basically dodges calls from his sister asking him when he's going to come back for the funeral and yeah, it's it's interesting that they never really explain, at least you know, at the time, why he's doing this. You're like, okay, he seems kind of kind of mean to do this, like <laughs> have a heart, but uh, you, you know, you go with it, and you're kind of left, you know, wondering as the as the movie goes on. So I thought that was that was interesting. It kept me engaged while while the story unfolded. Uh, but yeah, other other than that, the there are several moments in the film that just kind of came out of nowhere and startled me a bit. The first was when uh, just out of yeah out of nowhere, this like boat drives up, guy jumps off and murders a guy on the beach, um, shoots him a couple times, and like I was starting to think about something else uh, for whatever reason. I had you know something else on my mind while I was watching the movie at that point and i was starting to think a bit more about that and that just brought me right back into the movie and i was like well that, that came out of nowhere and uh yeah so that was that was one and then the other is when his sister shows back up uh at first you just hear her voice while he's sitting on the beach and i'm like is he just you know daydreaming here but no his camera shows that she's actually there finds him on the beach and uh yeah there again it was just very random and startling but i thought that enhanced the story to you know several places that caught me off guard uh then the next yeah the kind of the biggest plot point then after a little bit later on the i'm not going to go over the entire story here but uh just kind of highlighting things i liked how the yeah, it was, it was interesting later when his taxi driver was basically, you know, leading a couple other guys in his cab to go and kidnap uh, the sister. And I don't know if they knew that she was, like, as rich as she was, like a billion, a billionaire. I mean, they, I assume they had access to Internet and could figure it out. But I also don't know, like, if they could figure that out, I feel like they would have kidnapped him. Although I think they presumably stole his, his stuff. So that <clears throat> that also just kind of came out of nowhere. But, like, it, it really fit with the, the film. So it didn't feel out of place. But it's it wasn't something that I was expecting. And then, yeah, obviously the authorities are going to arrest him. Although it's, uh, yeah, seeing seeing what it's like to be in prison down there, I, I would not want to be in prison in Acapulco. Like, that, uh, yeah, uh, no thank you. I will be on good behavior if I <laughs> ever visit that region region but uh yeah don't envy him for that but he he seemed to be just kind of resigned to it which i think fit with his character especially what we when we learn you know uh the last big reveal in the film is that he has cancer so that was uh that made everything kind of click in place you're like oh that's why he's just kind of been you know uh checked out this entire movie that's why i didn't care to go back for his mom's funeral like he knows he's done he knows he's dying and he just wants to live his life and not really worry about anything while he still has time left. And that's what he does. And, uh, yeah, I, I really liked the last shot, too, where it's just an empty chair. Um, you know, presumably he he died to cancer. But, you know, he he just wanted to, yeah, live life a little bit, the, the last bit that he had. And, uh, yeah, I thought the movie played very well how the story was structured and kept me engaged and uh, you know fit together well in the end so i really enjoyed it i don't think like as far as um you know maybe like i don't think it's the greatest movie ever i think the acting is solid but i don't think the story it's more about the story i don't think the story requires a whole lot of like breakthrough performances or anything like that um so 
the yeah not that the acting was bad but the capacity for was just lower than you know what maybe like i don't see any of these actors getting nominated for oscars or anything like that but the uh well the last thing that uh just to talk about i thought the the children in the scenario acted or acted and reacted in very um very realistic ways like they're 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 lashing out at their uncle and reasonably so as far as they know he just blew off their their grandmother's funeral and was a a pain in just like having their mom have to deal with everything by herself and then their mom gets killed while she's wrapping stuff up like business stuff up with him so there i thought that was that was um yeah well done and how how they reacted but you also you're like well do you really have to act that way because you uh, we, the audience, we've been watching him, and we know that you know something's kind of up. There's got to be a reason for why he's acting this way, and we eventually find out that he has cancer. I think the lawyer mentioned like his condition at one point earlier on, so that kind of dropped a hint that you know there's more to it than than what we were seeing. So, um, but yeah. So overall, I thought the the yeah the the movie was good. I'd recommend it. And, um, yeah, if you've been able to see a sundown, uh, be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've liked this review, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.